Hey everybody, this is Two Wheels Big Life, I'm Rich. I came up with a, a solar panel that will mount on the trailer and everything should be self-contained and movable. I'll be showing you guys how this is getting installed and what it looks like and what it actually, how it actually works. In the meantime, stay tuned, we're putting this together next. I'm excited about telling you this about this project that I'm I'm doing for our adventure for Chris and I's adventure um, as you all know we've moved in full-time on our motorcycles and one of the things that we need to prepare or to to do this full-time is a power supply because there's a not only with all the crazy that's going on there we're gonna be limited on our amount of, of campgrounds so we're gonna be doing a lot more boondocking. And with that in mind, I came up with a, a solar panel that will mount on the trailer and everything should be self-contained and movable. The only thing that will not be movable is the solar panel itself. We've got a, a 100 watt solar panel that is gonna be mounted onto the top of the rack on the Bush Tech trailer. And then on the front, I had this box made. This box made right here. Haven't done anything with it yet, but all of these components are gonna fit inside this box. And I've made it to where I've got about a 12 foot lead so this bo box could come off of the front of the trailer and be set in the shade and cooled off. But let's go over what components I have. The components I have that are that are going into this because I did kind of a little tweaking because it's gonna be contained in a box sitting outside. I figured it need to be cooled off and some things needed to be done. But first off, lithium phosphate battery. Got a lithium battery because I can use all of the energy out of this battery, not just half like you do with a uh, a lead acid battery. So I've got a lithium battery. It's a 640 watt. I calculated 625 watt hours of, of battery usage. I've also got a full true sine wave inverter. It's a 500 watt inverter. I don't plan on ever using full 500 watts, um, but we have it. We have a full sine wave inverter along with uh, some USB ports that we have. Also have a Renology uh, solar charge controller. You need this solar charge controller to control the amount of energy coming from the solar panel to be delivered and stored inside of the battery. So you have to have a solar charge controller. With that solar charge controller, I got the option, the optional Bluetooth accessory. So I got the Bluetooth accessory so I can actually maintain and watch what this solar charger is doing in the battery and the power coming out of the solar uh, panel. I've also got a temperature probe that's gonna mount onto the side of the battery so it doesn't get too hot and damage the battery with uh, the amount of heat that is involved with energy coming from the solar panel through the controller into the battery. I also decided to put in a junction box, a 12 volt junction so I can run some other accessories. I haven't decided what all I'm going to put in this or what's going to be sticking out if there's going to be a, an outlet panel that's, that's on there but I wanted to put a, a fuse block on here so I can have 12 volt supply and be able to run like a USB charger or maybe a cigarette type lighter controller. That's what I want to do on that. One of the other things I did is since this box is going to be sitting in the sun and you can tell it's in the sun right now it's still kind of warm it's going to get hot inside this box. So what I did is I ordered some small axial fans, little two inch axial fans. I got, they came in a, a pair. They came as a pair, but they're 12 volt axial fans. And what I'm gonna do, when I have all of this stuff mounted in there, these are gonna be mounted on the inside down on the bottom uh, to blow air, to pull air through this box and actually remove that heat and try to keep that temperature down. And I'm gonna control it with this little snap disc. So I'm gonna mount this little snap disc inside here and this snap disc will close at 100 degrees and open at 85 degrees. So 
it will maintain the temperature, hopefully maintain the temperature of this box. Got a 50 amp fuse. That's uh, the maximum amperage that can come through this. I don't want to damage this, but I've got a resettable fuse that will go onto the battery also. I'll be showing you guys how this is getting installed and what it looks like and what it actually, how it actually works when I get it all completely set up and, and, and geared up. Ready to be drilled so things can be mounted. got the cooling fan mounted, right? And we took a little bit of mesh and cut this out, mounted it to the inside. So it'll So fit. it looks a little cleaner. After we mounted the fan, we finished installing all of the other components. So let me show you what all the components are. This is the lithium battery. Here is a 12 volt terminal block, fused terminal block that we have. This is a 500 watt pure sine wave inverter. This here is the solar controller. Attached to that is the Bluetooth controller so I can see what the controller is doing when it's going down the road or when it's at camp. This is a Klixon that is controlling the 12 volt fan that will pull air through these side notches and through this to keep these components cooled off if it's sitting in the sun with the lid closed. Down below is the axial fan. To protect that axial fan or water, I made a little hood and pop riveted it on there out of an old license plate. This wire connects to the solar panel itself. Unravels, I've got about maybe 10 feet maybe. Got it mounted securely on here with a drip leg and a nice grommet that holds it all together. That's everything that's inside the box. Now let's get it back over to the panel. Here we are. Here we are at mount, getting ready to mount the solar panel. We have two flat pieces of stock, aluminum, aluminum lightweight, lightweight aluminum, bolted to the rack on here. So this is pretty via little clamps. Rubber isolated. Isolate. Okay, now let's talk about the panel and how it's mounted. The panel is mounted onto the rack on top of the Bushtech trailer with those rubber isolators and quarter 20 bolts mounted to the frame of the solar panel. The solar panel itself is an HQST monocrystalline solar panel. And it's connected by a 12 foot wire that I've got routed here, goes under, the cooler and then strapped to the back of the box that has all of the components. All right, I wanna show you now how the interface works for the Bluetooth uh, with this Renology Bluetooth that we have. One thing I've noticed right away is that when the device is disconnected, it won't automatically disconnect sometimes. So you have to search for the device, then select it and then confirm. If you don't do this, it, it just leaves what was on there before. So now that we're connected, we can go to monitoring and we can see that at the top here, it shows the solar panel, how much current is going from the solar panel into the battery. That's 4.8, 4.67. It's 63 watts of power getting it put into it. And then you can see also the battery the battery charge is 100% at 13.6 volts and it's at 23C, which is right at probably 74 degrees, something like that. Uh, somebody correct me on that if that's not right, but it's close. 
So what you doing, Mike? I am tying these together as I would the oxygen and acetylene lines. Oh, so check this out. Sitting here in the sun, getting nice and warm. And what do you hear? I got air getting pulled through. Beautiful. Well, that's all I got for you today. If you like this, be sure to give us a thumbs up.